I would think from an actor's point of view that this whole psychological journey that our protagonist goes on must have been of great interest to you. It, it, it was. I find I find this story just fascinating. Um, um, you know, obviously we all watched the documentary, uh, which is fan wonderful. And there's an older documentary, actually, an old BBC documentary made just after all this happened in 1970, uh, which I also found wonderful. Uh, and the, and and the, the book, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's. I think we all got a little obsessed with it because it's such an extraordinary tale that we all became absolutely, you know, perplexed by the psychology of this man. And, and the psychology of your of your uh, part. I mean, he's no nonsense, is he? You don't mess around. No, well, he's a tabloid journalist, isn't he? Really, you know. So that's why my uh, inroad into him was a tabloid journalist mentality, and uh, I've met a few of them. And, uh, and there's a lot of footage of him, so uh, I could I could I could watch him and sort of see what kind of fellow he was. So it's sort of an impression of him, really, from what I saw. He was he was a bit chubbier than me. <laughs> and when you're with with regards to technique and, and preparing somebody that has existed, um, does your technique change at, at all, or your approach to it, it, it? It does. If you can see someone, yeah. I mean, firstly, you just go like, well, that's how he sounded, so I'm going to try and do that voice, you know. But I'm not. I'm not a great mimic. I'm not. But I always find it's good because I'm not a good mimic. I find that if I play someone real, I can watch it comes out sort of something quite interesting because it's, it's a third thing comes out, you know. So it's not like I'm doing an impression of him, but it's certainly, um, um, you know, it's a, it's very useful. And, and, and the story as a whole, did you um, have you did you find it an inspirational story really that that somebody pursued his dream <laughs> no, to the really. cost? No, I think it's. A, it's a, I mean, you made a terrible decision, wow. you know. He made an awful decision, and he's he, not necessarily to do it in the first place, but really not to listen to everything that was telling him not to carry on, and to then. Uh, that's, well, I don't know. That's what people have got to see. It's fascinating. Why did he do this? Why did he carry on when he really could have turned around and gone home? Uh, but the pressure of the negatives against him was too much. But for God's sake, man, you know, go home. But you raise a very good point that at the end, people do go away and actually think about the choices that we made yeah. and that's what you want from a film yeah, isn't it yeah, really yeah. that it leaves an impression it certainly does congratulations with a wonderful film thank you david nice to meet you